Brent Mukai is a comedian, actor, and voice talent who's been crushing his goals ever since he started pursuing his passions full time. He's a good guy who always makes me laugh, and I'm happy to have him joining me today. Working for myself has changed every single aspect of the way that I look at everything. I look at the use of my time so differently now. Time equal literally equals money because if I'm working and I do more work or do more auditions or send more emails, cold emails to marketing and whatever, like I can make money. And that upfront really screwed with me because it was it felt like any time that I wasn't working, I was leaving money on the table. And that's absolutely 100% true with any entrepreneur, with anybody. I can't even imagine how I thought about life before. There has to be some type of mental shift there, I think, when, when you're tackling something new. It's opened up a whole lot of opportunity and understanding for me. Some would might assume that like, oh, he's business minded now. He's, it's, it's a much more negative. It's a much more positive mind space because you start seeing the opportunity as opposed to the, the places where you can't. As an artist, our goal is to is to experience and to empathize and to gain as much uh, perspective as possible. I think I think the goal of any artist on any platform across all boards, I think that is our goal is to have life experiences that change us and shift us and show us different vantage points. There is nothing more valuable, in my opinion, than right brain thinkers being able to understand left brain thinking concepts and start adapting them. In the same way business has now shifted the way that I think about a lot of things, improv really shifted a lot in terms of the ability to listen to people, the ability to empathize, the ability to to really stand there and and try and connect with another human being. And the deeper that I went into improv, the more I started having these breakthroughs and having these really life-changing moments that made me say, okay, oh, how oh, that's really applicable to my life. Saturday Night Live decided to team up with their diversity scholarship. I was like, wow, that's a lot of fun. That would be cool if I really got this. Let me just submit. As it turns out, I got an, an email saying, congratulations, you won. And I, I, I just sat there and I stared at it for probably a minute and a half before it registered. And I was like, what? What? By the end, they basically were like, look, we want this to be a long term relationship. We want to check in with you and we want to talk to you like we, we don't want this to just be some like email correspondence or whatever. We want to actually have some stake in your future in comedy. I think people need to rethink their their relationship with failure. If you really seriously want to get into working for yourself, you have to realize that there is no demerit system in the in the world of business. You're going to fail, and you just have to accept that, that you have to fail in order to succeed. Any success is only made and comes from the failure that you have. So why even care about it? We're going to fail all the time. You're going to probably trip sometime today, <laughs> you know, or do some. You're going to probably drop your cell phone or whatever. What are you going to do? Just be like, oh, no, I'm not perfect. No, you got to just pick up your cell phone and keep on going with your day. That's it. Everything that happens along the journey is something I'm extremely grateful for. So like milestones, sure, there are big milestones, but it's also paved with all of the little stepping stones there. And I value every single one. My philosophy is I try to celebrate all the wins. I celebrate all the wins, the failures. I'm just like, Bleh, whatever, you know, it happened. I need to, I needed to do that to, to get to where I need to be. So you got to go relax. Because as a creative, I think that there is a serious problem in the idea that as a creative, we have to be working at all hours of the night or doing whatever, or doing all this other stuff. And, be, you know, I, I'm dedicated to that. I'm married to the game. But, like, you also got to take some time and just, like, go look at a sunset. You also got to go to a museum every once in a while. You also got to go just sit down and talk with somebody that's not at all affiliated with your career. I think that's extremely important. Understand you're always going to be leaving money on the table in some way, shape, or form when you're self-employed. And come to grips with that and just understand your, your health and your sanity is, is so much more important. <laughs> 